Hey there folks, I'm Eric Osberg and this is the Outdoor Report. It's been said many times in many ways, but the fact remains that kids are the future of fishing. And there's one organization called Fishing for Knowledge that since 2008 has been doing everything they can to make sure that that future is as bright as possible. Hey, you got a fish here. All right, live. Let me get a shot of you. 176 students from the Finlayson area got to play hooky recently. After weeks of learning the science behind fishing, it was time to apply their newfound knowledge on the ice. We started uh, like back in the, in the first class in 08, and uh, that was 76 kids, and every year we've grown, and now we're just at the end of the season, we'll be real close to 3,000 kids that have taken this program and seven different school districts. Personally, I like to ice fish. I like to get out and bring my kids fishing. Um, and today, a lot of kids don't get that chance, um, just the way it is. Uh, I know my students look forward to it. Coming out, we do a little prep time in the classroom, studying about the ecology of a lake and the different machines we use and stuff like that. And they really, uh, they really enjoy it. You can learn more about fishing. There's a few things I never knew about fish down, down that I do. And uh, this is a fun experience for uh, people who like to fish, just, yep. like, just like my friends here. I got a northern pike. The goal of the program isn't just to educate; it gives kids a chance to get outside and play. The most important thing about this program here is that it takes kids that are normally so glued to their to their Xboxes and they're and sitting in front of the TV, you know, playing on the computers, and it gets them outdoors, enjoying the outdoors. The, the first year that they had this event, they asked the question, how many kids have been fishing? And, uh, you know, only about half the kids raised their hand, which was really, really astonishing to me because being in Finlayson in a rural setting, I just assumed that all the kids had been fishing. Come on over to the trail. Yeah, we hand warmers. And we're watching uh, big numbers of kids not get involved with hunting and fishing anymore. You know, when I was a kid going to sport shows and being around, I mean, there's kids everywhere. And now you see this demographic of um, anglers, uh, um, hunt, people that are hunting, you know, everybody's from about the age of 30 and up and there's not a lot of young kids getting involved. If you'd like to help, Dennis says you can become a volunteer, send a cash donation, or just simply take a kid fishing. A lot of the guys now, when they no do get a chance to go fishing, going, they'd, they'd rather go with their going, buddies and taking fish. their little buddies that are out here, out fishing. And that's, that's who's going to take them in the future. And that's what really got to me. Is my grandfather started taking no. me when I was six Number years old. And uh, I want to make sure that some of these kids do the same thing when they have grandkids. It's not about having time, it's about making time. I'm Eric Osberg with your Outdoor Report. Just remember this, fishing is awesome. <laughs>